Hey guys, Nachos here. And this is Trav J. We're gonna do a plugin tutorial today. Um, so today I've got everything set up. Um, we're, we're gonna make a grenades plugin. Uh, what this is gonna do is basically turn eggs into bombs. That would be kind of cool. Be useful on like a survival modern warfare server, I guess. Yeah. Um, so I got my man set up. I got my plugin.yml. Um, so now I'm just gonna add a listener. So public so listener. So here's the here's first question coming in here. Where did you learn to uh, program Java? Um, I actually joined a dev team. That uh, th I I asked them if I could join, and they said yes, and they kind of helped teach me, and then I taught myself. Is this a uh, leads leads dev team? Yes. That year. Oh, okay. So that's kind of cool. And if uh, you're wondering how I know Travis or Trav J, Trav J, he's uh, making me a plugin right now for my server. Yep. So I'm just gonna call this listener Throw Listener. Uh, got import. And then, dang it. There we go. Then I got create class. Come back in here. Just have it at the constructor. Public main plugin. Yeah. So I actually kind of wanted to learn how to code for a little while. I kind of just gave that up because uh, all the tutorials on YouTube got really boring. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't really teach me too much except how to not make bucket but make just like regular Java stuff that I didn't need. Yeah. Um so now that we got that class set up we need to register the events. Uh we do this by use... event handler. I know that. Y well, yeah, that's in the class, but we need to actually <laughs> register. So uh yeah, yeah. get server, get plugin manager, uh register events. Throw listener. This. So it registers all the events in the throw listener to our plugin. So in here we come in, use our at event handler. I said that. Yes. <laughs> I feel special now. Uh, public, if I can spell void, I'm just going to call this throw, except we can't because that's an actual method. Um, <laughs> So we'll call it throwing. Yeah, sure. That works. Uh, projectile launch event is the one I believe we're using. Okay. Import. Import. Actually, probably an easier way to import things is just uh, Control Shift O. That imports everything on the page. Okay, so oh, you just went on Megatron on me for a second there. Control Shift O, bam. Did you do it? Didn't really do anything. Well, no, I didn't because I already imported everything. Because if I hit Control Shift O, it just automatically imports it. Ah, that's cool. So now that we got our projectile object in here, we need to make sure that it's an egg got to initialize that p variable. I just need to use it because it's saying it's unused. I know. Okay. Uh, egg. I think that'll work. I think it's egg item. I'm not sure. It's it's just egg. Oh. Because egg is a, a projectile. So. Oh. All right. Um. So now's the point where we need to track its velocity and see when it actually hits something. Um, vector. Dang it, if I can spell. Alright, now, well, uh. Get velocity. I've got to type some, check some YAML that I kinda 
I'm just gonna put on here because I gotta type an essay with it. So. All right. Have fun listening to my keys. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna take. Good. Now we're gonna take the Z, and we're gonna check if that is zero. Because that's basically gonna say if the V vector has stopped, if it's not going any farther in the Z direction. <laughs> then we're gonna do some stuff there. Uh, we can also say or if the V uh, X. If that's zero, then then it moves on, and this is where we're gonna make it blow up. So, so what's in that plugin.yml? I'm curious. Uh, the plugin.yml. This well, goes. I know what's in it, but I mean, I. Well, it's got the name, the description, author, version, and the main. And oh, then so. and then you put any commands you have, but this isn't gonna have any commands, so I can teach you how to make a force out plugin. You're good at those. Yes. We actually griefed someone yesterday. <laughs> out of the seventy that I have. Alright, so talking. now that we've checked if the vector is zero, um this is where we make our explosion. So we're actually going to use the location of the projectile, so... P... It would be cool is if you made it spawn, like, five live TNT. Uh, I could, actually. That would be kind of cool. So, what we can do... And, and then it would shoot fire places, too. Just to add to the realism. Um... I haven't done much with particles, but... Well, then you don't. If you don't want to do the fire, then you don't need to. But I mean, that TNT would be nice. Yeah. So basically, I've got a location object of the TNT, um, or where we're gonna put the TNT. So uh, now we need to get the world out of that because we need a world in order to spawn entities. Um, so L dot get world. If I can spell. Um, dot create explosion that's what we can do if we want to just make it explode um uh yeah i don't care that's good enough just make a really big explosion that, that would be that'll work okay so then we're gonna use l is where it's gonna explode and get like a nuke explosion not like from the explosive explosive plus mod just make it a nuke um do like 600 600 know. would crash Wait. a server alright yeah 20 is good so we'll do 20 I'm gonna export this well let me oh, get back to this and add some debug here yeah okay guys uh, loading that up actually didn't work the first time must have done something wrong <laughs> so I need to add some debug so I can locate the problem. Uh, except I need to find the projectile dot get shooter. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so now that I've done that, I need to actually make that a player because. It could be a skeleton or whatever, so. That send message is broken. Shouldn't be anymore, but. Oh, it's because I need import player. There we go. Um. Oops. I hate Skype screen. Ah! My, like, library's <laughs> button. My, my library's button is, like, right next to. My, my backspace, and so I hit it all the time. I like eggs. Actually. Yeah, that should be fine. Put chicken nugget right there. Put chicken nugget in that. Alright. 
Well, let's export this again and see what happens. Alright, uh, it's in my vectors. I need, ah, uh, that's why. I needed to make a scheduler here. Okay, so get server dot get scheduler dot schedule sync repeating task. Do like do eggs not launch when you're right clicking a block with them? Like I I don't know. And actually, my siblings are getting home, so I'm gonna see if I can get them to be quiet. The one that broke your iPod. Yes. <laughs> that was funny. Misty Palms Oasis. Ooh. Okay, so now so we are work. going to say. Break it all. Every 10 ticks. Uh, am I in like. Is there like a plugin on here to like deny my breaking? Oh, that's that's your plugin. Oh, it is. Yep. Oh, you didn't have the updated one in here. Uh, I actually think I do, but. Whatever. Okay. So. Dang it! Now I need to make all these final. Okay. Uh, I think this should be good now. Uh, so I'm gonna export again. All right. I'm just Someone gonna I'm gonna delete all this actually. All of that. Yeah, I I didn't actually go through this beforehand, and so. Whatever. I'm actually gonna change this from projectile launch to projectile hit, because that gets when a projectile hits that a surface. That makes more sense. Yeah. It makes tons more sense. Travis, it worked. I'm not gonna tell you how, but I know it worked. I died. I I can't do anything with my Minecraft or anything. All right. Well, I gotta go. Got a little bit of a maybe a little bit of problem. Right. Do you have backups of this world, correct? Just oh, it's just my testing world. It's crap stuff. Oh, okay. Okay, good. I, th I think... I, just, I may have just blown a huge hole in the spawn. Yeah. On accident. Well, I think... It's so much fun. I gotta go, though. Okay. Oh, yeah. See ya. Okay, see ya. Alright, guys. So, we actually did some testing, and... 20 crash everything like we died so I'm gonna export this again at a different size here